Hey everyone, welcome! <laughs> welcome to a special Friday the 13th episode of The Colt Show. How's ha- everyone happy doing? Happy Friday the 13th. Yes, thank you. From down here underground in the basement. The basement, <laughs> very good. Kansas Bowling, what are you doing here? <laughs> I don't know, I just I just showed up. You just showed up yeah. one day? Yeah. 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 Knocked on the door. Yeah. Took some stairs down. Mm-hmm. Just kind of walking okay. by. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All, all the way down. <laughs> all the way. It's very far underground. Yes, yeah. it is. Well, thank you for getting past NORAD and all the Pentagon credentials that you need to get down here. The so. Pentagon hot dog. <laughs> the hot dog. Hot dog stand. <laughs> the hot dog stand that Adrian told us all about. Ah, yeah. yeah. uh, so yes, we are very lucky tonight. Actually, that on this spooky October episode and Friday the thirteenth. Kansas Bowling is joining us. Thank you for being here. My it's pleasure. wonderful to see you. Thank you. Um, we're going to talk about like our favorite horror films. We are going to talk about what you're working on and films that you're touring with right now and films that you're making. And she's got a lot of stories. So if we're lucky, we might get a, a hot take or two even maybe from some things. It depends what she's comfortable giving up. We'll see. So how are you today, Caleb? I'm doing great. It's a okay. warm. It's always warm. But I'm all right. I know. I it's should a very be used nice to day. it by now. But what's that? It's a really nice day. Oh. I'm sure it's always nice out here, though. <laughs> That's yeah. right. No. It's it always sunshine. It's yeah. always sunny in Santa Rosa. There's a little yeah. more humidity than I'm used to oh, okay. lately. I don't know why. It has been. You're yeah. right. Yeah. Well, let's uh, say cheers to our friends in chat and their podcasters who will be listening in the future. We'd like to hold our glasses up and just okay. kind of give everyone a quick cheers. Cheers. Ah, okay. Well, so I guess we can just kind of get right into it and just say like, hey, how's it going? How's your October? Uh, it's been a great October so far. Excellent. <laughs> Considering it hasn't happened yet, but that's how we work at the Gold Show. <laughs> um wonderful best month of my life yes right yeah sweet making then, lots of money uh, wow <laughs> yes. living your best October. <laughs> that's awesome uh what's your favorite season out of the four um uh as in if fall. you want to get really really specific <laughs> yes um monsoon season monsoon the, season the oh okay nice well actually it used to be I have a good story about that, though. I just got done telling Adri. Oh. Um, so a couple months ago in July, in where I live in Nevada, we were filming, and um, it was monsooning. And uh, the night before, it was very crazy lightning storm, actually. Like, it was so crazy that, like, my entire house was lighting up like everything would become bright like that's how close the lightning was but anyways the next day we were filming outside we see a storm come in and we're like shit we need to film before it starts raining on us Mm -hmm. and it wasn't even raining and um we all got struck by lightning wow (laughs) Uh, what (laughs) yeah (laughs) yeah it was really crazy five of us got struck wow jeez yeah i'm assuming all five survived Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It was so it was a radial strike. So it hit a bush right next to us, bounced up and hit five of us. So that's probably why we didn't die. Wow. Yeah, so does that first. lessen the blow? Or... Yeah. <laughs> okay. And I think it evenly dispersed between us also. Wow. So we, that also probably lessened it. Okay. Um, but yeah. How did it feel? Yeah, what did it feel like? <laughs> um, it felt like getting hit in the head really hard. Oof. Okay. Yeah, right. I had a Things concussion like after. Tingly, not kind of yeah, it, not yeah. really tingly, but it felt like I had like my whole scalp felt sunburnt. Okay. Yeah, but okay. it didn't. It didn't look like anything. Hmm. But I had a concussion that lasted for like a couple weeks. Wow. Weeks. Yeah. My wow. God. <laughs> okay. Stories like that keep them coming. Okay. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's like my best story ever, probably. And I just it's a it's a fresh one too. Okay. So yeah, I got struck by lightning. Jeez, wow. Well, oh my God, I'm glad you are all okay. <laughs> yeah, and then I, I, I thought afterwards, I was like, I wonder if I have any superpowers. And I was like, I bet 
I bet. Like, I can manipulate the slot <laughs> slot machines. Oh, yeah. And How'd it go? Like, that night, I won like $150 Boom. on a hee-haw slot machine, too. Which there it is. is. Boom. My favorite yeah, hee-haw. Good job. And, then, and then the next day, I saw it. Um, what, you know, there's like, the, I don't know if you know slot machines, but there's like the famous lightning lightning link slot machine but i was like oh i, I have to play that too and i want okay. another hundred dollars wow Jeez. yeah okay so okay. but i haven't really had that much good gambling luck since then so i think it was like it, was so it like wears a, off yeah it was a fleeting superpower probably like while i was still concussed right. and then once the concussion uh, wore off like i okay. i like you know Just went, went around, back like, went back to not forks and light sockets <laughs> trying to get yeah, it back you know to manipulate the slot machines yeah but. it's kind of like john travolta and phenomenon kind of thing was a, a super you know yeah, yeah. what, what right. happened to him he got hit by something supposedly or a comet or something no, you know? he had a, well no, that's what it ended up being but no, a tumor right yeah I, he saw a flash of light i think he supposedly got hit by something yeah. some light from the sky and he got really super smart i don't remember that was, a, that was from the 90s that was the 90s it was a really long time ago <laughs> Caleb and i weren't sober we're we talking about in the 90s <laughs> anyway hmm? there's michael also um, that's the angel one and then there's one called Phenomenon. Phenomena, right? Yeah. They parts of it, parts of, parts of it were were filmed here. Oh well, speaking of, it's so. Friday the thirteenth today, and that's what happens to Jason in um, part six. That's a resurrection. You're right. Yeah, he does. That's right. So. He does. That was a direct hit, though. Yeah, that was a direct. <laughs> that was <laughs> yeah. direct hit to a spike that Tom Matthews put yeah. in his chest. People have said that to me. Too. They're like, "Oh, so you didn't really get struck by lightning?" I'm like, "Yeah, that that, oh, no, is, no. that is a lightning strike. No, I'm... like if a direct hit, I would most likely be dead. So, like, of course, I'm. It wasn't like a direct hit. Like, right. I, yeah, but it's still a lightning strike if it yeah. hits something that hits you. Yeah. I, I once accidentally got uh, electrocuted by a light switch, and <laughs> that was enough. Yeah. You know, 120 <laughs> is that's all. Just I one time you've been electrocuted. <laughs> Just once. Yeah. Oh, no, twice. Oh. Sorry. Another time I was fixing a light switch and. I don't know what I'm doing. The fact so. that you can remember how many times you've been electrocuted <laughs> means you oh, haven't only, been electrocuted only enough twice times. So. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even count how many times, but I like to live wire around my house. So it's yeah. kind of like a game of chance we play. Yeah. You know, okay. it's, 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 a, it's about time. It's, it's going to, yeah. Mm. yeah. Your, time, your time's coming. <laughs> my time's coming. There's no yeah. question. Yeah. That's what All right. <laughs> so um, Kansas bowling, mm -hmm. for those who don't know, if they've been living under a rock, <laughs> you, are, you are a filmmaker. Um, which includes under that filmmaker moniker, we'll say writer, director, um, producer, mm -hmm. I would assume, right? And then, of course, there's even an actress side of you. Cinematographer, editor. Cinemat yes, of course. I forgot the most important thing, uh, editor. Lighting, sound, like everything, right? Catering. <laughs> yes. That's what, uh, the Neil Breen credits. <laughs> yes. Oh, no, yes, the Neil Breen credits. Do you guys like Neil Breen? Do I have to say on air? <laughs> Oh, well, he's my favorite working filmmaker today. Is he? He's my hero. Yeah. Oh, all right. <laughs> he's, a, he's a, yeah, he's definitely my inspiration. I so have you seen so the, the, the most recent? Yeah, it was it was the most incredible movie going experience I've ever had in my life. I highly, wow. highly recommend it. Really? Yeah, I'm going to, okay. next time I, it plays anywhere, I'm going to go for sure. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's 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 really really good. Cade the tortured. Crossing. Yes, thank you. That's the name. I couldn't remember. It's by a it. sequel to Twisted Pair. So Twisted Pair was the last one. He plays twins, Cade and Kale Altair, <laughs> and they come back for Cade the Tortured Crossing, and it's it's a masterpiece for sure. It might it might even be his best one. Wow. All right. <laughs> That's yeah, saying a lot. I love him. I am wow. ignorant, so I <laughs> like just taking notes. Okay, go check yeah. that out. He's no, go he's got a following. We've uh, okay. we've had some people reach out to us asking if we're going to play oh, okay. his most recent film. All right. Oh, but, really? Um, you yeah. should. So we were trying to negotiate with him. If I can be honest, can I be honest with you now? Were you talking directly <laughs> with him? N yes, Probably, I think it, yeah. I think it was. Um, it was not me. It was our guy who does rentals. Uh huh. But um, what he wanted. To show his movie was not realistic. What did he really? I, I can't remember exactly now, oh but it was, it was it about. Was so bad. It was like about like <laughs> when he wanted it, how long he wanted it. The, all the terms were like just like. I think his terms on his agreement were more than like from Sony or Warner Brothers or any other That's so major cool. studio kind of thing. So cool. you know? so, <laughs> but um, anyway, but uh, so that guy was our, in, our, in our office was talking to me about it. I'm like, I, we, I mean, we can't. I think he should still do it. So I think you should give him 100% of ticket sales. Okay. <laughs> Free advertising. Just donate it all for him. Yeah. All right. Well. Fly him out. Jeez. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Kansas. Giving the house away. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You don't need to make money in I, I, rent. I'd come back. Oh, would you come back for that? <laughs> if, if he was here, yeah. How? Why hasn't he met you yet? I mean, why don't you just reach out? I've talked to him on the phone. That's what I figured. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> he must have. All right. I was trying to help. It was before he made this one. I was trying to help him with it. Oh. But he likes to do everything. So. You, were, you were trying? I was so trying did to help he him. ask or were you like, I was like inserting I was like, yourself? Please let me help you. Okay. <laughs> I want to help you. <laughs> you were willing to work for 100%. Yeah. Free. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I'll give, I'll give you everything I have. <laughs> That's when you think about it. High praise. Yeah. <laughs> that is. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah. You know, maybe his next one. I, yeah. You never know. It'll, it'll happen. It'll happen. It'll happen. Yeah. Just keep bugging them. <laughs> <laughs> so, since you mentioned Friday the 13th, we talked about it, uh, and it is October, mm-hmm. as we all know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. What, uh, what's, can we talk about some horror films? Like, we have some favorite horror films among us that we, uh, if you had to implore yeah. people out there to see one movie this October, what would it be? Well, I mean, I think the greatest horror movie ever, everyone watching this, I'm assuming, has already seen, which is Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I would reckon they probably have, yeah. yeah. I think so. so. Okay. I think so. And then the other one that probably most people, I'm assuming, have probably seen is The Wicker Man. Oh, yeah. Okay. Like the original Wicker Man, of course. Yeah, of course. And the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre, yeah. of course. Those are yours. Okay, cool. Yeah, we've uh, covered both in this show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. I mean, those are like, the, they're very well known, though. I, I have yep. some, some more obscure ones, maybe, though. Okay. okay. Let's, let's hear uh, it. What we're, do you got? We're always looking for Rex, so... Um, one of my newest favorite horror movies. I mean, not not new. Mm-hmm. As new to you. New to me. New is as in the last like two years I've seen it. But uh, the witch who came from the sea. Don't know that one. No. Okay. Highly recommend it. Okay. Any idea where you can find it? Um, I saw it on the Criterion Channel. Oh, okay. Like two years ago. Got it. And then I watched it a bunch more times. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. I think Arrow put it out. Okay. On Blu-ray. I'm pretty sure. Arrow okay. Did. Arrow video. So um, both of us writing it down because yeah. <laughs> we really like it. It's Millie Perkins is the star, the girl who played uh, Anne Frank. And her husband at the time, Robert Tom, directed it. Oh, no. Okay. Sorry. He wrote it. Okay. He also wrote um, Death Race 2000. Oh. And he also wrote and directed a, another really good movie called Angel, Angel, Down We Go. From the 60s. I don't know that one mm. It's really good. I, I'm pretty sure. So that's the only one he has ever directed. But he was mostly a screenwriter, but he was married okay. to Millie Perkins. And she was somewhat retired from acting at that point, but she acted in this. And she's really, really good in it. Like, okay. a, she does an incredible job of playing like a really crazy person. It's a mm-hmm. really good performance. I like that. Yeah. And, and then uh, it's directed by Matt Simber, who he, he did like the gorgeous ladies are wrestling. And, Oh, you, yeah, okay. yeah. He's okay. so it's it's like a lot of really cool people. Um, yeah, like Lonnie Chapman is in it, and it's and it's all set. It's like seventies Santa Monica before Santa Monica was like all cleaned up. So there's <laughs> okay. like there's like weird sketchy parts of Santa Monica. It's it's very <laughs> interesting, and there's like stuff in Malibu and Santa Monica on the pier and stuff. It's all it's like still like kind of sailory. Okay. Wow. It's I re- like that. It's really, really, really good. It's a really good movie. Okay. Cool. Okay. Very bizarre too, and like nightmarish. So one of my favorites is Hereditary. I love mm-hmm. Ari Aster. Um, we were discussing with someone a while back, and actually last month, <laughs> that mm-hmm. uh, thought that Hereditary was boring and horribly acted. Hor- so. I, would, I don't. I would not say it was horribly acted. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, that wasn't our. <laughs> Never consensus yeah. among, among us either. Yeah, we were that's, kind of surprised. Kind of Tony Collette was quite amazing, actually. Yeah, I think she, she's bereaved really good. mother. Yeah, you know. Yeah, so, you love and also played that kind of crazy. Is she? Isn't she? Is she just sad? You know? Yeah, I love I love movies about crazy. What's going crazy on? Girls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Crazy girls are good. So. One of my favorites from the more recent times would be the Argentinian film Terrified. Have you seen that one? No. We've talked about it before. I've seen Terrifier. Right. This is Terrified. (laughs) Yeah, no, I haven't. Okay. You should mark that down. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) You got it? Okay. Okay, Yeah, I got it. Um, Yeah, it's um, Demian Rugna, I believe his name is. Um, I hope I got that right. Um, He's got a new film actually opening 
oh, or I should say opened <laughs> two week two weeks ago in early October. Uh-huh. Um, but uh, it's a fantastic film. It's nothing really scares me, like especially yeah. anymore. But yeah. I still feel dread or tension. Yeah. And this film just does such a great job. And there's one scene that, to this day, it gives me like little little chills, little goosebumps when I see it every time. I love it. I got it right. Yep. Yay, brain. <laughs> um, and then, of course, we talked about it earlier. But my favorite horror film, of course, of all time, is Creep Show, and I always Creep recommend show. Ooh, Creep Show. <laughs> That everyone, really is one of my favorites too. Everyone yeah. must watch Creep Show. Yeah. Creep Show is an incredible movie. Yeah, it is. It's great. So Creep Show two also good. Definitely not as good as number one, but it's also really good. Thank you. Yeah, the raft is amazing. <laughs> yeah. You like it, huh? Yeah. Interesting. Okay. We've yeah. had we had we had a discussion about Creep Show two with our two millennials in here that are not here right now, uh-huh. and, and it didn't go over very well with them. Creep Show one is obviously like like a lot better. It's mm-hmm. like that's like a near perfect movie, but Creepshow Two, it, it's still a really good movie. Like it's it, it's hard to compare them, okay. but like, you know, if Creepshow Two just existed in the world, it would be I'd be like, oh, that's a great movie. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> I love Creepshow Two. <laughs> Excellent. There's a lot of people I've noticed that maybe grew up or more experienced film more in the '90s. Mm-hmm. Like, was their introduction that they I've heard them say like, oh, Creepshow Two, I and mean, even go so far as to say it's better than the first one. Uh, yeah, I Which, of course, that. I clutch pearls and go, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but still, it's all right. All right. Um, so, Kansas, tell us about you. Like, what got you into filmmaking? How did you become a filmmaker? Um, <laughs> in, a, in a condensed very, very vague, <laughs> but <laughs> um, I, Yeah, I have, like, literally always wanted to know I want to make movies, like, my entire life. Okay. So. Okay. There wasn't really ever a question about doing something else. So I don't know why, but okay. <laughs> I, just, I just always knew. So Is that a pivotal part? Like you remember as a kid, you're just like you, a lot of times people always say, I watched this movie and I knew from that point on, I always wanted to make I mean, make honestly, film. watching Creepshow. Like I'm not joking. All right. <laughs> there you <laughs> go. I was like a really little kid, <laughs> like Creepshow. And then I, I saw Kill Bill when it first came out too. Okay. okay. When did that come out? Like 2005 or something? Uh, Yeah. Right, something I like know that. that. Off the top of my head, I was born but... in '96, so I was really young. No, I think okay. it was. I think it was earlier than 2005, because I was younger. Uh, volume one was 2003. Volume two was 2004. Yes, yeah, so I was six. So, okay. yeah, you saw it then, okay? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Wow. Yeah, um, I had a crush on David Carradine when I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> um, wow. Have you seen him in like Kung Fu or anything? Uh... At that, at that point, I had not. Okay. I just knew him from Kill Bill. But have you gone back, I mean? Oh, yeah. What, yeah. Okay. No, I, I'm i well-versed in every Carradine. <laughs> okay. I thought oh. one of you. Okay. All the Carradines? I love the Carradines. <laughs> I think they're the coolest acting family of all time. Okay. Um, they are pretty cool. Yeah. They're really incredible. Um, Yeah. I, I actually met Keith Carradine when I was like 13 or 14. I almost cried and I like wouldn't let go of him. <laughs> And I, I, I brought his album because he after he did the movie Nashville, he, right. he had the album with yeah. I, I'm Easy on it. I, yeah. I brought it and I had him sign it. Wow. That's awesome. Didn't he yeah. win an Academy Award for that or something? <laughs> maybe. Maybe he was nominated. I don't That's know if he won. Maybe nominated. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, whatever. Yeah. I just, I love the Caridians. <laughs> That's cool. Um, okay. But, uh, yeah, I, I uh, but so, yeah, I made, I made my first movie. Right when I graduated high school. Okay. Um, At the age of? 16. 16. Well, I gra- no, I graduated. No, I, yeah, I graduated when I was 16. And okay. then I made the movie. Move, well, because I turned 17 like a month later. Got it. <laughs> and then I made my movie when I was 17. Yes. Yes. Okay. I wrote so, it, though, in high school when I was 15. So that's, <laughs> that's why Troma sometimes says I was a 15-year-old filmmaker. But then it's funny because when it finally came out, I was 19, almost 20. And then okay. so everyone thought I was 15. Right. So now when people when I say I'm 27 now, people are like, "How did you get so old so fast?" I'm like, <laughs> I, I'm like, that's it's just that's just how time works. It just like I don't know. I don't. I was struck by lightning. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Give me a break. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Took a couple years off my life. Yeah. And then I think Lloyd, Lloyd Coffin sometimes would just like tell people I was like 12. <laughs> and so I, I, people are just really confused. But I'm 27. Just turned 27. But so you you had or at one point are you still you have that title of the youngest 
Yeah, is it fe- filmmaker to have a film distributor or is it female filmmaker? Yeah, I don't really know if that's true. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Well. It might be. And nobody's said it sounds good wrong so far. So I don't know. I mean, has Guinness contacted you? And no. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure there's been someone younger. I, it just depends like what counts as distributed. Because like, does trauma really count? I distribution deal. I, mean, I don't know. I, I realize there's um, complex feelings <laughs> regarding that whole thing. <laughs> I mean, I don't, but. I don't know. I will just do, I, I'm just saying like someone else could have done one, but it, maybe it was distributed, but not like by a huge, co- I don't, I, right. I just don't right. know. Okay. So we I'm cannot sure. necessarily confirm a hundred percent, but yeah, I've seen it said a, a fair amount of times that, so yeah, I was but, just going with it. You know? I, yeah. Cause also it depends like how does it, count how old were you were when the movie finished or how old were you you were when it started right right good because they're all good questions yeah yeah do not know the official but you're saying it officially started like its inception point was 15 years old well yeah because i i wrote like when i was in high school with my right. friend kenzie okay. and kenzie. uh shout out kenzie hey kenzie what's <laughs> up um yeah and we were like yeah when we graduate cause she was a year older than me so we we're gonna grad but yeah we were gonna graduate at the same time and we're just like, yeah, when we graduate, we'll make this together. But then she ended up getting accepted to like a cool college and moved. Oh. And <laughs> so I was like, okay, I'll just make it. And then, yeah. And you filmed it in your father's backyard, I keep hearing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, in, in Topanga. Topanga, okay. Yeah, Topanga Canyon. Topanga is near LA. Yeah. It's a mountain. How, how much town. land, how big was that backyard? Cause... Well, I mean, it's not like, it wasn't like his land, but it was the land. Oh, okay. It was the land behind his Behind house, it, okay. So. Yeah, it's not like he has had a Which is why it was so vast. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Got it. Because <laughs> he was living on the creek at okay. the time. Yeah. Wow. That's um, pretty cool. I mean, yeah. and that was BC Butcher, by the way. Yeah. Probably should say the name. <laughs> you don't have to go watch it. It's not good. But just <laughs> keep in mind, I was a little kid when I made it. So. But, I mean, first of all, in the film, mm-hmm. you've got... Kato Kaylin. Yeah, I know. Kato's the best part. Kato's awesome. <laughs> so you may say you're a little kid, but you managed to somehow get people to be in your movie. Yeah. Including someone of notoriety. Yeah. No, Kato's like the coolest ever. I love Kato Kaylin. So. Okay. Nice. Hey, Kato. Hi, Kato. Hi, hey, Kato. What's up? Yeah. Good to see you out there. Yeah. Um, okay, so you did that. And then um, from there, you like, Hey, I like filmmaking, but I like acting as well. Or what was uh, the thought between? I never intended to be an actress, but I just because I was in that sort of trauma world at that point, like all these trauma people are always asking me to like be in things. And then ah. I don't know, that, that just sort of happened like that. OK, so, yeah, then I was act, just yeah. That's kind of still still how it is to this day. People are like, hey, you want to be in this movie? I'm like, yeah. So is that what happened? <laughs> Once upon a time in Hollywood, like how did that? Oh, come well, that's about? that's different. That's that was hard work and determination. Okay. Um, yeah. Wow. Did so. you call up Quentin and say, "Hey, I'll work for free"? <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you I'm going to give you tips. <laughs> yeah. No, th- that started when it all it goes all the way back to when I was thirteen or fourteen. I don't know. That was when I met Quentin for the first time. Ah, okay. Yeah. Where was that? At a screening. And I, I, um, <laughs> so there was like this f- film series in LA where they were screening movies at the locations they were filmed at. And oh. one of them was going to be Jackie Brown sp- uh, screened at the Del Amo Mall, okay. where like the heist scene takes place at. Um, but like a bunch of the other films in the series, like the filmmakers were showing up at them. And I was like, told that to my parents. I was like, I just know it. Quentin's going to be here. You have to take me. And they said, yeah. But it switched from the Del Amo Mall to this place called the Proud Bird Cafe, which is like this restaurant right next to LAX where you like see the planes take off above okay. you because hmm. there was some issue with the Del Amo Mall. <laughs> and I remember we got there and Quentin did show up. And the first thing he says, he's introducing the movie. Can I swear? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he, 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 like, gets up on stage and he goes, the Del Amo Mall fucked us in the ass. <laughs> and then my mom just looks at me and she's like, what? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> and then um, after the movie, there was like sort of like this backstage area, but it was just like ropes, you know. And I was like a little kid, so I just like went under it. <laughs> up to Quentin and I hugged him again just like I did to to (laughs) (laughs) and I got down on my knees and I was like will you marry me (laughs) and um he just started laughing really hard and then um yeah and then fast forward um he was yeah he announced he was doing Once Upon Him in Hollywood and there were Manson girls, and me and my sister were just like, that has to be us. Like, we have to get in this. <laughs> and we did what we did last time. We found out where he was going to be. <laughs> and he was, there was this screening of Reservoir Dogs, it was like an anniversary screening mm-hmm. at uh, the Ace Hotel. And we got tickets, and somehow we were there sitting right behind Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, no. <laughs> and then afterwards, somehow we snuck back into the after party thing again. <laughs> and like just like we did before. And we were just like, hey Quentin, I was like, remember me? I asked you to marry me when I was 14 and he did remember me, which was awesome. really cool. That's cool. And uh we're just like, we have to be Manson girls. And he was just like laughing again. He's like, Okay, like I'll I'll let you guys audition, whatever. And uh sweet. Wow. Yeah. And then um, Peter Bogdanovich came, like, pushed us out of the way. <laughs> and then we were like, okay. <laughs> Whatever, Peter Bogdanovich. <laughs> um, like, you're anything. <laughs> wow. And then, like, almost a year later, we just get this email out of the blue from a casting director saying that Quentin wanted us to come in and audition. Oh. So, wow. So he kept his word. So he actually remembered and yeah. had kept notes. and. That's awesome. Yeah. Wow. That's yeah, really cool. cool. And you got you were and your sister were actually. I mean, I would say you were like prominent Manson girls. You were featured. I, I guess so. Yeah, yeah. It was pretty well. Yeah, it was cool because like we didn't like have lines or anything when he gave it to us. He was just like, "You're like Manson girls," but then he like on set he came up with the part where like um, Clem Grogan's getting beat up, and he like has that close of me where I'm like. <laughs> so he, he like just added that in and he kept it in so that was cool yeah it was really cool wow yeah that's cool yeah and awesome I, yeah and he put us in the trailer and on the poster it's so cool <laughs> that's, that's exciting pretty yeah that's damn exciting i mean yeah. i mean you guys both got some good i think you got both got some good screen time yeah no it was it's I mean, really awesome i and quentin's just like the coolest person ever i love quentin can but, i tell you about the time that i met him yes can i shake your hand real quick okay i'm quentin and you're me okay. hey how's it going <laughs> that's, like, that's exactly what happened. I, cool. I bumped into him in a, in a, a green room, actually, at, yeah. at an event we were at. Right. And uh, we were kind of like, he was there with Robert Rodriguez. And oh, really? It was for, I guess, were they permitting, per- permitting, uh, promoting um, oh, the one of the movies they both did together. Oh, death for, Proof. Oh, Death Proof and Planet, Planet um, Terror? Yeah, what's yeah. it called? When they, Grindhouse. Grindhouse. Grindhouse, thank you. Yeah. I don't know if they were doing, they must have, because Rose McGowan was with Robert Rodriguez at that point. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. But I remember he just kind of like, hey, how's it going? Like, it was kind of weird. Like, where's Robert? I'm like, I think he's out there. <laughs> but Yeah, when Death Proof came out, that, like, changed my life. That was, like, my favorite movie ever. Oh. I was oh. so obsessed with it. Well, you were talking earlier about your favorite movie-going experience. And for me, it uh-huh. was Death Proof. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, I, I didn't see it in the theater, we, actually. Neil and I saw a screening of it yeah. where it was just, like, five people, maybe. Uh-huh. And, you know, like. I was digging it, but yeah. it just it was wasn't just, exciting. Yeah. yeah. So I went Friday night, opening night, uh-huh. with the public, and people were like high fiving each other across the aisle, That's and awesome. I mean, just like it was the vibe and the feeling and the energy was just amazing. Yeah, I, I love I love those movies so yeah. much. <laughs> They're so good. <laughs> yeah, they were fun. Yeah, pretty amazing. Well, that's anyway. That's I'm really happy for you though. Yes. And that, that Spawn Ranch segment of the movie is actually pretty awesome so yeah it's, no, cool it's, it's, it's really cool and I, I i think it's quentin's best movie oh i i, I don't say so myself we so. yeah we're yeah. we're kind of there with you because we somewhere in one to three yeah <laughs> it's, and, and, it, and it could slide yeah any given day you know yeah i, I mean that or death proof they're my favorites <laughs> yeah and we skew because i mean you gotta realize like we were working in this independent theater when you first started in the early oh. 90s um 
and Reservoir Dogs came out and we had it. And of course, no one knew who Quentin was, right? Yeah. Right. And this film came out and we were like, holy shit, like, yeah. what, is what, what is this? Who is this guy? <laughs> and then when they, then we found out about Pulp Fiction, Pulp Fiction being done by the same director, we were like, oh my God, Pulp Fiction, you know, this is going to yeah. be great. And it blew us away. Yeah. That's obviously. Awesome. So we had that nostalgia of experiencing yeah. them when they were new. Um, but I, so it's hard for me. I, because we did, we actually did an episode where we live ranked Quentin Tarantino movies. <laughs> yeah. And for all of us, I think Pulp Fiction remained number one. It did. But yeah. um, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood was, I think, two to three. Two somewhere or three there, and Reservoir Dogs. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I have watched, I have not watched Pulp Fiction in years, and I watched Hollywood three or four times at least. Yeah. At home on my own. Yeah. So. The only Blu ray I've, like, bought. Mm -hmm. With my <laughs> own yeah. money, it wasn't given, you know, yeah. through work. Yeah, uh, was Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. So. Yeah, I th I think yeah. it's I think it's so good. I it's it's just like I don't know. I think it, it's like oddly the sweetest movie too. It is. It like, is. I guess yeah. Kill Bill also, but like I don't know. At the end, I just like I was like. <laughs> He, he made this for Sharon. It's so beautiful. It is. <laughs> it's yeah. just like this sweet gift to her. It's yeah. Like, yeah. It was really, really good film. Yeah. All right. So, hey, you're here. I mean, you're not here necessarily, but you're here because mm -hmm. there's another film actually showing, kind of making a little circuit you're going mm -hmm. around with called Cuddly Toys. Yes. Would you mind uh, filling us in on that a little bit? <laughs> uh, so, Tell Cuddly me. Toys has been the bane of my existence just kidding it's uh my new movie and i am very very excited about it it's been screening all over the country um and it will have a very cool blu-ray release sometime next year oh good um and streaming all that but right now it's just theatrical so if you're watching this f look up where it's playing next um yeah, I know it's going to be playing sometime, I think, November November 6th in New York. Cool. So that, nice. that's after this. <laughs> that I, is. I can't, I can't remember any other ones. I think, I think November 6th, in, yeah, in Brooklyn. But anyways, Cuddly Toys, it's formatted after the Faces of Death movies. But instead of footage of death, it's uh, footage of delinquent teenage daughters and what they're doing that you, the audience, parents... Do not know about and i played professor professor kansas bowling also modeled after dr francis b gross of faces of death um, it's hysterical yeah because <laughs> now you say that i'm like ah oh. <laughs> yeah i totally see it well i mean it, it's it's modeled after all those like pseudo educational films but, but say, primarily yeah. faces of death yeah there, it's like a whole subgenre, but that that's kind of the that's the pseudo educational <laughs> film. <laughs> that is the Mondo movie of of all time. But um Wow. Yeah. Wow. I uh How would you describe it's like if you had to say this film is about Uh this film is about um uh I guess I guess I would say it's about uh sure. Uh, growing up as a as a teenage girl in a in a city of scary people, <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I yeah. saw it. I I actually liked it uh, quite a bit. You know, I found it to be disturbing <laughs> at certain things. <laughs> yeah. You know, because it's kind of like I mean, both Caleb and I have daughters. Mm -hmm. uh, mine's a mine's gonna be seventeen and shoot like four days or something. Oh wow. Um, mine's thirteen. So. But uh, it's just you're still you're just like <laughs> oh man, you know, kind of thing, and it's like. I guess you're not going to ever talk to boys or be let out of the house ever again. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So. Yeah. My mind was going to the mall later that day, and <laughs> I realized I hadn't asked her some very important questions about, you know, <laughs> who she was going with and <laughs> yeah. know, what time you're going to be back. And Yeah. You know, that, well, so. that's, that's kind of <laughs> also what the movie's about, is that how it's like, well... Um, cer certain situations like that in life are just almost unavoidable. So mm -hmm. you're just going to have to deal with some things like that no matter what. So un unless you want to stay inside all day and not not be a part of the world. So. Right. Yeah. 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 And but uh, we grew up in a time where, you know, I don't think our parents ever knew where we were. Yeah. Or, you <laughs> know, like, like maybe in a general sense. Yeah. But, you know, the world has definitely changed. So. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I mean, it's a, uh, I don't know, I mean, 
like how does how does that story in become a thing in your head and then how do you because it's got i mean there's how many different actresses is it really a hundred different actresses or um i know there, there's 125 people in the movie so i mean there's there's men included in that too so it probably right. is less than 100 actresses um so the tagline's a bit of a lie <laughs> but the tagline is it's about okay. how there's 100 actresses but <laughs> but there's a lot of moving pieces in it yeah that you had to yeah many different formulate, segments you know yeah. Yeah, um, but that that kind of made it easy so I could uh, film it over like a long period of time and just like save up for different segments because it was all self funded. So okay. um, it was so it's it was you know it was the only way I could sort of do such a large project is if I broke it up into little bits like that. Okay, and you did a sixteen millimeter. Like, how does one decide? I'm going to make it life harder on myself and do a film, more costly <laughs> film um, in film development. Well, every, everything I've done has been on 16. Beastie Butcher was 16 also. I, um, Yeah, I, I mean, just before I made anything, I was just like, okay, well, I want my movies to look like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, so how do I do that? And uh, okay. I, like, emailed the DP of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I was like, what do I do? And he, like, told me what to do, so. <laughs> There's this thing running through here that you will just approach anybody Anyone, yeah. and ask. <laughs> but yeah, the difference what, is that's what you gotta do. when Neil does, because Neil also does that, but mm-hmm. usually it's just kind of like, meh, meh. Well, see, you, that's, well, that's what I always knew. You can get away with that when you're a young girl. So okay. there's good things about being a young girl, too. But... There's also, you know, now that I'm not as young, there's other things that are good to be like, well, I was in a Quentin Tarantino movie, so <laughs> that works over a lot of things. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it makes people listen to you. <laughs> that helps, huh? But yeah, no, so you, yeah, just just ask people. If the worst that can happen is they won't respond to you. Right. Or they'll be like, or they'll say something really mean to you. Right. So <laughs> you asked him, you said, how do I make my film look like yours yeah. and he said yeah he was really nice he, I mean, he, film? he told me yeah he was just talking about 16 he he did tell me that the stock they use like they stopped making that like decades ago but mm. um i mean because there's there's like i mean there used to be a wide variety of stocks you could choose from back in the day and now there's right. like not many no probably okay. not yeah <laughs> there's <laughs> yeah but um i i've certainly learned a lot um since that initial email though because yeah because now for kindly toys i had a a director of photography at first and basically as we went along filming i i kind of like learned from him how to do it because i mean i was like i could kind of shoot but i just didn't really trust myself to shoot a feature when i was like putting all this money on the line and Mm, but i i just like yeah, so basically, like, halfway through the movie, I just kind of took over from him and just oh. shot the other half. And then anytime I'm on camera in Cuddly Toys, my, my boyfriend, Don DeVore, shot it. So okay. there's three cinematographers in Cuddly Toys. Uh-huh. But my next movie, which I'm almost done filming, I will be done filming in, like, a couple weeks, um, I am the only DP. Okay. So Wow, cool. Yeah, and I've, yeah, I've shot, I've been shooting all my music videos, too, and I've done like 30 or so music videos for people, but I shoot all those too. Right. Awesome. Yeah. Nice. Well, we, we love cinematographers, DPs. So mm-hmm. we've had uh, Dean Kundi on our show. Oh, cool. Twice? Twice. Twice. Yeah. And he's, uh, you know, he's pretty prolific. And mm-hmm. it's just like when you think about this guy did Jurassic Park and Back to the Future and Halloween and the Fog and Big Trouble in Little China, you know, all these films were just always like, just, you can you know, talk to him for hours. Yeah, yeah, that's you know, so cool. With all that kind of stuff. But uh, so we very much appreciate a good DP. So good on you. Yeah. <laughs> that's important. <laughs> and then for editing, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit of an editor. Oh, yeah. So I like to dabble in. Yeah. I mean, so I just always kind of wonder, like, you do the 16, you must do a digital transfer with it to, for yeah. the editing? Yeah, no, I, I get it scanned right away. Okay. Yeah, so that I shoot it, process it, get it scanned. I don't ever want to edit on film <laughs> it's just unnecessary yeah, yeah exactly but you have to at some point in the process it has to be converted to digital anyways unless yeah. unless you're only ever going to project it from that print or something right. like so you might as well do it right away to make it easy on yourself like yeah. why yeah what do you use what software uh premiere premiere oh okay. yeah yeah all right that's the one i haven't done i've done the final cut the da vinci oh. yeah i used to do but... final cut and Switch to Premiere. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. 
That's cool. cool. Yeah. So I had a little shop talk. I know, right? <laughs> was it always going to be called Cuddly Toys? Or did yeah, that that's... come from the song first? Or how did that? Yeah, definitely. It was inspired by the song. Okay. But okay. yeah, it that's really. the monkey song, by the way. Yeah, the monkey you know. song. I really shot myself in the foot with that. But I, I like, because, it, it, you know, you have to get the rights to right. that. It took, it took me like a year and a half, but we're good. We're okay, good. good. Um, Talk about self-funding, because that costs money. <laughs> a lot of money yeah, yeah. no it, it's made the movie very hard to release oh <laughs> okay. don't recommend it okay but you know when you edit something <laughs> to a song or you write it to a song yep. you know you have to have you're like god I, damn right. it i, I have, have to, to have it now have to, yeah and yeah. i was i was like after cuddly toys i was like god i have to make this easier on myself i had to license five songs for cuddly toys which very expensive so for my next one that i'm doing i was like i need to make this easier on myself but now I think I'm going to have to license like seven songs for the next <laughs> one. I They are slightly more obscure, so. Okay. Won't be, hopefully, is. Okay. <sighs> Fingers crossed. I, I, haven't, <laughs> I haven't asked for quotes yet. So. <laughs> I love the use of the song in it, though. No, it's I mean, great. I, yeah. I, I, I seriously am like, I don't know that I even ever heard that song before. Yeah. N- yeah. Not that I could remember. And then yeah, I, I, I don't like, need to ever hear it again. But, well, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm like, I'm just like running around now constantly humming it. Like, especially, you know, I mean, it's. In nuts like i have it on my playlist yeah, see, now it's good, oh, really? it's good for see, them for me? like why they they, sh- <laughs> they should be happy to have a song in the movie right? they are now they but should. like come on they, they totally should it's very very it makes them it makes them cool so <laughs> yeah what i've been humming is your credit song the hush by mountain oh uh, because yes. i'm a huge chitty chitty bang bang yes yeah like you can call it kinder trauma like yeah I don't know if you've ever <laughs> seen the movie but the child catcher like freaked me the fuck out when i was a kid so yeah that's bobby gentry singing <laughs> yeah yeah exactly yeah. and so She's... um i don't know that i'd heard that version before yeah it's so pretty I since have it on my phone and oh cool listen to it on my way over nice. for the 10th time and nice so, that's so cool that makes know. me happy I'm gonna say, I good love... use of music for thank you, you thank <laughs> yes you. i love bobby gentry she is one of my favorite artists in the whole world okay that's awesome all right my last question for you about cuddly toys okay this is how ha- how did you get your sister to remove her clothing oh, that, for a movie? Oh, that's easy. <laughs> <laughs> Parker? I mean, Parker? Okay. All right. No, I'm joking. No, she, no. she would do anything for my movies. Oh. So, um, but yeah, no. Yeah. Wow. It, was, it wasn't. I mean, it's your sister. There, so wasn't, it's like... there wasn't even an argument or anything. Oh, she was right. just like, okay. They could. And then, um, yeah, and then after that, because there's three girls that are naked, but there was, it was initially only going to be my sister. But the other mm. two girls asked to be naked after because Parker was naked in it. Mm. Wow. Especially the the okay. girl Angel O'Connor. She's in the, the peanut butter jelly scene. Oh, that's a rough uh, scene. That's she a rough was scene. like, she's like, I want to be naked so so people can think I'm hotter than Parker. And then there, and yeah, then Parker's no, gonna be like, no, I'm hotter scene, than Angel. Ju- judging then, hotness in that then, scene <laughs> is not. No, 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 no. Yeah, it was a competition with them. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. That's funny. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Oof. Okay. Yeah. I just, it's just funny. You just, I, I don't know. It's like, I'd be, I figured you'd be like, you know, what? Get the hell out of here, Kansas. I'm not doing that. <laughs> but that's awesome. Well, good. No, she actually has, um, in my next movie, we already, I shot like a sex scene with her. Okay. <laughs> Well, she's the one then. Yeah. All right. She's your ride or die. It was really gross. I was like throwing up while I was filming it. <laughs> I don't want to see that. <laughs> Just for, it's for the movie. For the movie. Yeah. It's art. Oh, well. Yeah. Oh. All right. Well. Yeah. We, we like to joke that we're incestuous, but we're actually not. That makes me really grossed out. So. <laughs> you know what? It's, hey. Yeah. We wouldn't judge you here. Yeah. <laughs> so, I would. Yeah, I mean, yeah. That's fine. <laughs> so there's another film uh-huh. that is currently out that you're also starring in. Mm-hmm. And I think you might even brought someone with you who was in the film with you. Is that true? Oh, my God. What? Yeah. Is there someone in our audience? Yeah. Um, so there's a movie I'm in called Murder Size. And my co-star Adriana Uchishiba is here right now. Um, oh, hey, wow! <laughs> hey, do you want to come join us on the couch? <laughs> yeah, you have to move down. Right, right, come down the bleacher steps. Oh my God, is that a pirate too? <laughs> join us. Hi. <laughs> She's like, no. 
Hi. Hi, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good, I thanks for being basement. here. Thank you. This is, our, <laughs> this is our home away from home. It is spooky, right? <laughs> spooky <Ooh>. time. <laughs> so, you guys met on the set of mm -hmm. Murder the Size? Size yeah. Okay, cool. You live in the Bay Area. I do. So, how did you get involved in a film? So, um, I'm assuming it was in LA you filmed? Or no, no, Murder Size was there. The filmmakers live in Modesto and we filmed it in Stockton. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Yeah. I, I actually I had to drive Ebbets Pass over to, to film it. Nice. Cadillac <laughs> Curve. Yeah. Your favorite. Scary Road. Yeah. Long story short. Kansas does not recommend. Don't yeah. do it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I recommend to the adventurous types. <laughs> Don't recommend it if you're afraid of dying or heights. <laughs> Well, that would be me. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. So yeah, murder sites. You guys, anything you want to say or can watch you it. watch it? Yeah, you know, watch murder it. sites. It's on I, yeah, it is yeah. on. I watched it last night on two. Oh, cool! I was dying. Yeah. I was. Um, um, Drew Maverick was just cracking yeah. me yeah. up with his little fanny pack. Yeah, and... yeah. it's it's very <laughs> funny. It's it's it has a, a really good plot too. It's not it's not. Um, Sorry, but uh, like a stereo stereotypical like uh, slasher plot. Right. Like, no, but it's, it's, it's like very this funny, kind of well throwback written. sort yeah. of eighties. Yeah. Not quite a slasher comedy. But yeah. I mean, it's it's just a lot of fun. I enjoyed it so. I agree. Great job, both of you. Seriously. Yeah. Good yeah. job. You did great. <laughs> you did great. Yeah, too. You didn't kill me. Yeah. Oh wait, me didn't you? Oh yeah. If you haven't seen it. No, so uh oh. No spoilers. <laughs> Some spoilers. Oh no. Now I might go in there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Expecting something. Okay. She likes me in real life and in the movie. Yeah. Who knew? <laughs> and she she has a really good like foot fetish scene mm. for people that are into that. Oh cool. <laughs> yeah, you do. Yeah. <laughs> that means Quentin Tarantino has seen it. Probably. Seen He'll it like sure. it. All right. We'll send it to him. <laughs> Our dish tape is just your foot. Yeah. Do your magic, Kansas. Right. I, mean, I love you, you. And here's a I foot love you. scene. Marry me. <laughs> I watch this foot scene. Here's my foot. Put me yeah. in your next. Put your. Put me in your final movie. There you yeah. go. I'm very excited for that movie. Has he said yet what it is? Or he said it's called the movie critic, and it's about mm -hmm. uh, an, a real movie critic from the 70s that he used to read. Oh, yeah. I hadn't heard that. Okay. Yeah. I've heard so many things. Like it's going to be Star Trek. It's going to be this. And I had heard the movie critic, yeah. but I didn't know if that was. No, it's just, that's legit. Okay. Yeah. All right. Supposedly Bruce Willis is going to be in it. Oh, bringing yeah. Bruce back. Really? Yeah. Okay. Supposedly. Yeah. I hope that's true. But poor Bruce doesn't look like he's doing very well. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be a sort of like his, like a swan song, you know, okay. like a last, last thing. Last yeah. Law, yeah. Well, that's sad. But yeah. Well, good. I hope yeah, he no, does it. That. It is that's really awesome. sad. Cool. Bruce Willis. So, what do you want to tell us or add? Or what can we, can people find you in fun things or? Well. Thinking. Okay. I'm, I'm not thinking. I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> not on our couch, you're not. Well, <laughs> it's not wrapped in plastic. <laughs> yeah, it's fantastic. <laughs> it's, <laughs> nice. <laughs> I would say that I think one of the things I'm super stoked about with Murder Size was when we made it into like Fangoria. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've loved Fangoria since I was a kid, and so when I saw the magazine. I was like, oh my gosh, like that's that's our movie cover. And <laughs> ah. wait, I think there's somebody on this oh my poop God. deck. Is there a pirate in Who's here? Who's on the poop oh, deck? Never mind. I, don't, I don't think there's a pirate in here. Never mind. Yeah. Oh, no, oh no, there's a pirate in here. <laughs> come, come over here. Over here. Right here. Hi. Look, look, at, the look at the camera. Say, Hi. Hello. It's Hi, Arg. Oh, oh there's a pirate! pirate. Yeah. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> How right you like the poop deck? <laughs> yeah. I'll be back here in my room. Okay. 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 <laughs> Spooky pirate. Yeah. Nice. I need my blanket. Okay. Shout out to AP Films for funding enough yeah. for for babysitting too. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um no yeah the, the fangoria thing was like super super cool to see and like we're just continuously getting good reviews we're in yeah. like 
the best like comedy section of Tubi or however. <laughs> yeah, it was like the number one comedy on Tubi the other what? day. Wow. Yeah, wow. something like that. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. All right. Yeah, it's pretty pretty cool. All right. Yeah. Um, I'm also speaking of October. I'm in another movie that just came out that's actually called Third Saturday in October Part Five. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Which is also on wow. Tubi right now. No, it, it's it's really good. Dark Sky just put them out. It's a double feature they made. They made Third Saturday in October and then Third Saturday in October Part 5. But it's meant to be like a lost slash, slasher franchise. Okay. So Part 1 is set in the 70s and Part 5, the one I, I'm in, is the 90s one. Okay. Um, But uh, yeah, they, they, they released them both at the same time. Jay Burleson directed it. He directed this really good movie called The Nobodies that... Trauma put out and unfortunately buried, but <laughs> oh no, okay. um, he's really really good. Dark Sky put him out. They're on Tubi. Recommend them. Watch it on uh, the third Saturday in October. Awesome. The double feature. Wow, cool. All right. We'll note it. Yeah. No, yeah, no. Do, can you write that down for yeah. us? Yeah. So we can remember. <laughs> right. It's okay. Third Saturday. Third Saturday. <laughs> oh, you're a left-hander. That off. Oh no. There we go. I don't know if this will make sense to you later. But... It will now, yes. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Well, thanks for coming and sitting with us. Appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. I would so, say... Oh, oh wait, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Wait, 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 wait. I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> I, um, thank you for... Um, uh, Kansas's next film is uh, like oh, yeah. another little like surprise. Don't say, yeah, don't say that. Yeah, can't can't I I won't talk about it like that. But okay. It's an it's a thank you. Yeah. It's Kansas's too. So, yeah. Um, yeah, Adriana is in my next movie. We just filmed her part in Canada, in British Columbia, in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> yeah. Um, we were we accidentally went up there in moose season. We didn't we didn't realize. Mm -hmm. We would uh go into restaurants and tell people where we were going, and everyone would like stop and turn and look at us, and they'd be like, "You don't want." You don't want to go down that road like that. Wow. <laughs> and we'd be like, why? And they're like, you're going to hit that's, a moose. It's moose season. That's like you're going to start of a horror film. Yeah. Where the locals are telling you don't go there. Yeah. And you do they're anyway. like, you're going to hit a moose to die. <laughs> well, yeah, it was also really huge. scary. Before we left Vancouver, they were all saying that too. This this guy started laughing at me. He's like, you didn't rent a car with snow tires? Ha ha, you're going to die. <laughs> and I was like, why is it from trying to scare us so bad it was it was like really crazy but yeah they were like you're you're gonna hit a moose and die and then so we were really freaked out by that so the entire drive we would only drive behind semi trucks because we called them our moose busters because nice. <laughs> if a moose jumped in the yeah. road the semi truck would hit it first you need a moose buster in yeah. canada <laughs> Yeah, so that's our that's our tip for traveling in Canada. Always always have a moose buster. Moose buster. Yeah, but we did not see a single moose, so there are a bunch of liars. Oh, well, we did see wow. like one moose, and it was because Kansas likes to do um, reviews on sporting stores. Oh yeah, specifically like Cabela's. Cabela's. Yeah, and so we did see a taxidermy one, and I was like, yeah. "See, I told you they're terrifying. Like they're look at it. It's like this big." Yeah, yeah actually, we we um. I have a YouTube channel <laughs> where I review Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's all over the world. Really? <laughs> yeah, it's it, it's okay. me and my friend Lo Espinoza. She's also my effects artist. But we actually did the one in Canada without her, and I think it was bad luck because as we were exiting the parking lot, I got to a vendor vendor, and they, oh. yeah, and they made me pay for it. That's so on the rental car. Oh, yeah, it was horrible. I remember yeah. that. That was yeah. Really, it all happened so fast. It, it did happen really fast, but mm -hmm. yeah, C Canadian Cabela is not as good as the American ones. Like oh. it, it made me really proud to be American. What? <laughs> <laughs> Cabela. But yeah, check out my Bass Pro Shop reviews. What's the name of your YouTube channel for that? Uh, I think you just search my name. I don't. Really know. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, just yeah, just type in my name and like Bass Pro Shop. You'll find the channel. There's a lot of them, but you can see our our, our Canadian episode. Okay, in it. Yeah, cool. So All right, well, that sounds a lot of fun. I'm and sure you got way more subscribers than we do anyway. So, <laughs> no, I, I don't think so. <laughs> Nobody knows I have this channel. <laughs> I remember being in the car and like being overtired, and we're like googling like. What happens if you come across a moose? And then, like, the goal, yeah. in all caps, it was like, if you see a moose, it was like, run! Yeah. And it was, like, the funniest thing ever, I think, maybe because I was tired. But, like, everything was just funny in that car. Yeah. It was so fun. Wow. Yeah. That part was a fun trip. time. It was, yeah. I've had a lot of really stressful shoots for this new movie. 
like the time we got struck by lightning and all that. But like, <laughs> oddly, the shoot where we had to fly into Vancouver, drive 14 hours north, film, and then drive 14 hours back and then fly out was like the most chill, easy shoot ever. So, cool. yes, yes. <laughs> it was like really, really easy. It was you fun. Know. Well, I mean, now it's like you're the kind of the the gauge is basically if I wasn't struck by lightning, it was a good shoot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it was an easy one. Yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> Yeah, oof, man, had a lot of crazy shoots yep. for this new movie. Hey, and, so Kansas, yeah. mm -hmm. are you ready for the lightning round? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I tried not to peek at those. I, I saw one or two. Oh, no. Before. You already I, thinking? I, I saw coffee or tea. No, I saw coffee or tea, and I was like, I can't look at these because it's going to make me think. Yeah, it is. So I, <laughs> I'll admit, I saw coffee or tea. Okay, well, we're going to ask you anyway, then. Okay. If it's uh, coffee or tea. Tea. Good job. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're giving you an okay on that one. Uh, dusk or dawn? Um, they're both they're both nice for different reasons. Well, you gotta choose one. If you only can have one. I mean, you don't have to. I guess. Dusk. That is correct. Oh, it's, oh, okay. Good they're, answer. They're right or wrong? Yeah, that's okay. right. Correct. <laughs> Wait, what? Did I get coffee it's or tea all wrong? For fun. No, we, okay. we gave you coffee it's or tea. That one was, fun. you know, your own thing. Okay, so. okay, okay. But still, we add these up, and there's there's like a list, you know, or uh, scores of other. Is this personality test? No, this is not. This, this is my personality. Like, <laughs> maybe. <they're> like, <laughs> I'm the crazy you're, person you're doing more it. More of a Freddy Krueger. Yes, yes. Than... Speaking of which, okay. Freddy or Jason? Oh no way. Um. I don't know. I kind of think Jason. Uh, sorry. No, no, it's uh, it's Freddy. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, no sorry. point for that one. Almost, no point. Sorry. That's all right. It's all right. It's the number seven or the number thirteen? Thirteen. Very good. Okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Confusing myself over here. <laughs> Which smell? Gasoline or skunk? Gasoline. Oh. What? Skunk is the correct answer. <laughs> this is a bad answer. Again, no. This is about Neil. This okay. Is a, this is a Neil's personality test. <laughs> it's not, but that's okay. <laughs> Quentin Tarantino or Robert Rodriguez? Quentin. Oh, uh, that's correct, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 mean, cool. I love Robert Rodriguez, too. The answer, we would Quentin. accept either one for that yeah. one. Oh, so okay. actually yeah. pretty cool. I'm the pirate helper. Pirate no helper. <laughs> I, I took my costume off. Yeah, it was getting hot. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the wig's very itchy. Alright, please get hot. Um, okay, mayo or ketchup? Ketchup. Ooh, the answer's mustard. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that was a trick question. <laughs> uh, Stephen King or Steven Spielberg? Stephen King. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Not even. Very good, very good. Both are very fine Stevens. They're fine Stevens. Yeah, no, Steven Spielberg is cool too, but like it's Stephen King. <laughs> One yeah. far yeah. surpasses the other. Yeah. <laughs> Fast zombies or slow zombies? Slow. Very good. Yeah. Thank you. Whew. I was a little worried about that one. Yeah. No, no, just... <laughs> Fast zombies. zombies. They're going to eat your brains. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who would... Duh. <laughs> World War Z was crazy. Yeah. Uh... Sit here. Yeah. Right yeah, on the side yeah. there, I bet. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Um, Toxic Avenger or Poultry Geist? Uh, Toxic Avenger. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> or maybe a double feature, even. <laughs> <laughs> uh, favorite Kato? Caitlin or Bruce Lee from <laughs> Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? Oh, Kato Caitlin. <laughs> All right, we'll take it. We'll take it. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. She knows. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Pirate knows. <laughs> I'm not even a pirate right now. <laughs> I'm just Lily. This is Lily. <laughs> Lloyd Kaufman, happy face emoji or poop emoji? Happy face emoji. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is a funny one that I didn't know um, before we spoke, but uh, favorite monkey, Davy or Mickey? Um, oh, I like them. They're fine. I don't know, Davey. Davey. I don't know, Mickey. Davey. I don't know. They're fine. That's fine. Yeah. We also would accept Peter Tork. Oh, <laughs> so. Okay, yeah, no, Peter's cool too. <laughs> um, okay. I prefer my stuffed animals to be stuffed with. Uh, meat. Meat, right. correct. Right. Meat is the correct answer. <laughs> Very good. Was not See? expecting meat. that, by the way. <laughs> meat. That I would cool. say, uh, I would say stuffed. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like bread. Stuffing. Bread stuffing. Bread stuffing. Oh. Like for Thanksgiving. 
Mm, that's my favorite. <laughs> she, I think she means like batting. Nice fluffy stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah. Stuff in, like the stuff inside your pillow that is fluffy. I yeah. would agree with you, Lily. Yeah. Yeah. Or the beads. <laughs> yeah. Like, 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 yes. like beanie babies. Yes. Yeah. Those are so cool. Yeah. Okay, last question. You ready? Okay. Finish this song lyric. You're not the only cuddly toy that was ever enjoyed by any boy. <laughs> Yay! Of course she knows it! It's her movie! <laughs> I know! See, Lily's too smart. I know, Lily. <laughs> Why are you asking her the question? Lily, don't ever come on this show. You're too good for us. <laughs> She's like, I'm already on the show. <laughs> All right. Well, guess what? That's it, because we have a screening to get to. <laughs> yes, who knew? She had a lot of sugar. <laughs> Kansas, thank you so much. Adri, thank you so much for being here. I'm saying it right, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm kind of worried now. So, we appreciate your time. Uh, thank you, guys. Everyone go out, check out Cuddly Toys, look for it in your town near you in right a, in a, in a we're theater actually near at the you. movie theaters to see it today yeah <laughs> yeah lily's gonna see cuddly toys <laughs> I, you know what go do Parts. it yeah okay. no yeah we're, we're gonna, yeah yeah, right. I, yeah no it'll it's be fine right. but yeah soon to be streaming soon to be on blu-ray um away my costume and lily is a pirate and <laughs> yeah. um <laughs> um yeah cuddly toys look out for my next movie as well and murder size third saturday in october part five in murder size you can see these two yeah awesome, awesome. all right yes. all right well happy friday the 13th thanks for joining us happy 13th. Bye.